Hi, I am Shivika Hans, and uh, I have secured All India Rank three hundred in the UPSC Civil Service Examination in the year twenty twenty three, a twenty four attempt. And I am happy to have joined IAS Kurukul for my civil services preparation. I have been a student of Pranay Agarwal sir for sociology optional. Congratulations, Shivika, bete once again. Thank you, uh, sir. मेरे को ये बताओ कि जब आपने अपना ये रिजल्ट देखा तो आपका पहला व्हाट वाज योर फर्स्ट थॉट एंड फर्स्ट यू नो रिएक्शन फ्रैंकली सर इट वाज वेरी रिलीविंग क्योंकि मतलब लिस्ट में नाम देखना ही आई फील दैट इट इज अ प्रीटी बिग डील एंड ऐसा था कि मतलब आई वाज होप आई वाज होपिंग दैट बस नो मैं इफ आई लुक इट अप इट्स देयर <laughs> and uh, thankfully it was so i was very relieved and i was extremely happy also hmm and uh, yes theek hai uh, ye batao ki academically gs ka which portion you found the most challenging in case of gs i feel that gs3 has uh, been quite challenging hmm and um, while overall my uh, gs score has been in a comfortable uh, range it's in, it's 430 hmm. of all the four papers so but, but gs3 was it took quite a while theek hai aur prelims you found more challenging ya means so frankly prelims is more challenging because it is way more dicey hmm. and uh, there are a lot of factors at play be it c side be it the gs part itself and uh, the questions also they are very tricky so i feel that prelims is quite challenging at least for me and prelims ke liye kitne mocks aap attempt karte the bete in a year in a year i have uh, i have given around uh, like 70 80 mocks i did give pre mocks yes sir. that's a very good number na huh? yes mm-hmm. sir ठीक है एंड मॉक्स में व्हेन यू डिड नॉट परफॉर्म वेल सो वाज इट डीमोटिवेटिंग एंड हाउ डिड यू डील विद दैट आई इन केस व्हेन आई डिड नॉट परफॉर्म वेल देयर आर सर्टेन सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल एंशिएंट हिस्ट्री और आर्ट एंड कल्चर और साइंस आल्सो वेयर आई फेल्ट माय स्कोर वाज लेस देन आई यूज्ड टू वर्क ऑन इट बीट ऑन द आंसर की ओनली आई यूज्ड टू रीड इट थरली एंड आई यूज्ड टू वर्क ऑन द ऑप्शंस आल्सो इन द मॉक्स इटसेल्फ Uh, the test options and everything so that i could do better next time and for the hmm. next test i used to revise the previous one so that i don't repeat the same mistakes again hmm and uh, you have cracked this exam at a pretty young age right so share the secret for that how do people you know it's not just about clearing but clearing at younger age is even better so what went into that yeah? Like, did you start up much earlier during your graduation years? Yes, school yes, sir. Hmm. So I started during my graduation itself, but hmm. it mostly picked steam during the COVID period. And uh, hmm. um, overall, I feel that I because I have uh, because at a younger age there is lesser uh, things to distract you other than college, and uh, which hmm. is pretty much uh, not uh, very uh, burdensome, I would say. Hmm. so it helped me find the time for upsc and uh, over hmm. and uh, same happened with my during my masters also i could easily balance both of the preparations be it my masters and be it upsc and did you uh, feel your young age was in any way a drawback maybe say during the interview first interview um in my first inter- interview my uh, score was quite less Hmm. and i feel that uh, being young maybe i also lacked that depth in my answers that the yes. understanding which they were probably looking for hmm. and uh, maybe now uh, because it's my third attempt and uh, again when i reached the interview stage i myself saw that improvement in myself and yes. uh, that score also showed an improvement yes you are wiser huh? <laughs> yes <laughs> or uh, इसमें ये बताओ बेटे कि चलो अपने ऑप्शनल का बताओ कि व्हाई डिड यू टेक अप सोशियोलॉजी एज योर ऑप्शनल व्हाट 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 यू नो हाउ वाज 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 द डिसीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस एंड व्हाट फैक्टर्स डिड यू कंसीडर 
uh when i started i was uh, confused between english literature because it is my graduation subject uh-huh. and uh, when and sociology because i was overall interested in the subject mm. and uh, i did not go for literature because i felt that the guidance available at that time was lacking mm. and which was available for sociology and mm. i was i was again i was very keen to try a new subject and i also felt that it would give me a broader understanding of the society and would help me in other papers also like essay or uh, ethics hmm theek hai and chahe uh, gs ho ya optional ho how did you you know restrict yourself to limited number of resources how did you deal with the fomo which lot of candidates yes. grapple with Hmm? yes uh, definitely there is a that fomo aspect is there um but i tried my level best to because many other toppers everyone has guided that you should not read seven eight books but you should read single book seven eight times hmm. and i also knew that because in order to retain a book in order to absorb a book hmm. we need to revise it over and over again instead of picking up a new source and yes. at the back of my mind i knew that so which is why i whenever i picked a source i made up my mind that i will stick to it and mm. in the test series or anything any extra information that i get i will i will add to the same source theek hai aur mains ke liye for both gs and optional apne kitne answer writing practice kitni ki beta i have i wrote uh, around uh, uh, for sociology i wrote around 7 8 tests Mm-hmm. and uh, in case of gs also i gave around uh, 10 mocks uh, around 10 12 mocks i gave for 10 12 charo mila ke charo paper yes ke. yes uh, on average two for each theek hai and uh, tell me about your interview experience both times first time when you did not score too well and second time mm-hmm. when you have scored well how was your overall interview experience I felt that during my first time I was very nervous mm. and uh, I was actually a bit uh, um, I feel that I was extremely nervous at that time mm. and uh, uh, the questions also I felt that uh, I was there was a complete lack of pre- preparation on my part now that I think about it in the hindsight mm. and uh, so again again which is why Uh, the questions again felt extremely intimidating hmm. coming from everyone and uh, it was uh, yes and uh, when i f- when i saw i i felt that it did not go very well but i thought that maybe i'll maybe score be around average or something hmm. but it it was extremely shocking to witness such a low score hmm. and i knew that i i felt that this is my weak area and i need to work upon it so during this time i felt that i knew that if i will clear mains i will leave no stone unturned when it came to the interview mm-hmm. so i worked on that aspects uh, be yes. it giving mocks or be it uh, recording my own self and uh, giving uh, reciting my own answers mm-hmm. and i also did a thorough research thorough research in all the aspects of my daf which i believe mm-hmm. uh, worked for me and uh, the questions also which were asked by Uh, the current uh, interview board they mm-hmm. were quite uh, in my comfort area because i also felt that my preparation circumference had increased so it reflected i feel it reflected in my score also yes nothing beats preparation you know yes sir, definitely better you are the more confident you are to yes sir hmm uh sociology ka ye batao shivika bete ki एक तो इतने सारे स्कॉलर्स कैसे याद किए अम सर इन दिस केस मतलब मैंने खुद के ही नोट्स बनाए एंड उसी नोट्स पर ही मैंने ऐड ऑन एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन ऐड करती गई लाइक जो टेस्ट थे जैसे आपके भी टेस्ट अटेंड किए तो उसमें भी द डिस्कशन वीडियोस ऑफ थिंकर्स स्पेशली दैट एडेड अ लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन माय करंट जोन and mm-hmm. other than that also i used to refer to uh, videos of other uh, uh, be it foreign scholars also on youtube 
uh, to increase especially for the uh, major thinkers like marx or durkheim so in that case uska horizon thoda sa aur increase karne ke liye matlab in my free time also i used to watch such videos to uh, broaden the scope of my knowledge and usi ko revise kar kar ke i and short ki wo retain rahe to preparation ko hi aapne apna leisure time activity bhi bana liya i enjoyed sociology uh, to an extent so i feel that um hmm. acha lagta tha स्पेस सर्फ वगैरह भी करना ठीक है और सोशियोलॉजी आंसर राइटिंग में हाउ वुड यू यू नो डिस्टिंग्विश योर आंसर फॉर अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज यू नो अगर वो जीएस में पूछा जाता है या ऑप्शनल में पूछा जाता है पर्टिकुलरली पेपर टू में तो उसको हाउ डू यू मेक इट सोशियोलॉजिकल इन ऑर्डर टू मेक माय आंसर सोशियोलॉजिकल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो देयर आर सम सोशियोलॉजिकल जारगंस व्हिच आई फेल्ट दैट दैट विल हेल्प Mm. uh for example terms like exclusion social exclusion because mm. ye thode se sociological sound karte hain mm. then analysis bhi agar koi particular question i used to analyze on various aspects for example mm. the analysis can be on the basis of marxism or mm. it can be a functional analysis or it can be symbolic interactionism mm. and if it was if it was a question of indian thinkers or indian paper 2 then hmm. in that case i used to ensure that i analyze uh, structure on the basis of various aspects of society like family caste class status yes. and all these aspects so that it it sounds more sociological and hmm. it also covers all the dimensions great shivika jo googly questions kai baar upsc puchta hai jaise is baar wo family practices ka pucha ya dramaturgy ka pucha isi tarah gs ne उनको कैसे टैकल करते थे छोड़ ही देते थे या कुछ तुक्का मारते थे व्हाट वाज योर अप्रोच टू सच क्वेश्चंस व्हिच यू हैड नॉट प्रिपेयर्ड बिफोर हैंड इन दिस केस मतलब अगर मुझे आईओटा भी आइडिया है आई वुड डेफिनेटली राइट इट डाउन बिकॉज हमें एक एक नंबर खींचना है आई फील एग्जामिनर से तो वो मैं लिख देती थी आई मीन जैसे वो फैमिली वाला क्वेश्चन आया था आई डोंट नो इफ I got some marks for that or not, but I, for my own personal satisfaction, I wrote a page. That maybe if the examiner feels that, ha, this is somewhere close, he hmm. or she might give me half or one mark, and hmm. uh, that is still a win. Absolutely. So if they give you a half, then you will get something. Yes. I think blank leaving is better. He is. Hmm. Hands on. Uh, Shivika, beta, tell me some common myths about the UPSC exam which you have discovered during the preparation. That you know, it's a very popular misconception, hai, but at the end of the day, it's not true. Um, some popular misconceptions I feel is that. One, I think that I feel that that fifteen-sixteen hours of hype is not there. It's not like that. Hmm. I think the preparation does not require कि किसी दिन तुमने पंद्रह सोलह घंटे दे दिए किसी दिन तुम दो तीन घंटे दे रहे हो I think hmm. it requires more of a disciplined and consistent preparation. So yes. वही वो daily का आठ घंटे या सात आठ घंटे देना exact clock किया हुआ that hmm. is a major part. Not that कि पंद्रह सोलह घंटे we are we are humans after all हमें और भी uh, चीजें होती हैं uh, yes. and we have other things to do. तो hmm. ऐसा नहीं है कि पंद्रह सोलह घंटे पढ़ने होते हैं आई फील दैट वही एट टू टेन आवर्स एंड ड्यूरिंग व्हेन द एग्जाम इज क्वाइट क्लोज देन यू कैन इंक्रीज इट टू टेन इलेवन बट इट इज अबाउट द कंसिस्टेंसी इट इज नॉट अबाउट कि बिकॉज यू इट्स नॉट अबाउट द मोटिवेशन बिकॉज यू आर मोटिवेटेड वन डे एंड इट्स इट विल टेपर डाउन आफ्टर फोर फाइव डेज यस पूरे टाइम आप मोटिवेटेड नहीं रह सकते पूरा टाइम नहीं रह सकते डेफिनेटली गोली नहीं आ हां जी एक चीज ये बताओ बेटा इफ यू हैव टू गिव एनी न्यू एस्पिरेंट समबडी हु इज फ्रेश इनटू इट यू नो थ्री की टिप्स फॉर सक्सेस व्हाट विल दे बी अ फर्स्ट थिंग दैट डोंट रन आफ्टर सोर्सेस यस एंड देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ एट दिस पॉइंट देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ बुक्स अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट ट्रू एंड you have to ask a few people ask a few seniors about it 
एंड दे विल टेल यू विच आई विच इज द बेस्ट वन एंड वो एक पकड़ के उसी को ही पढ़ो पांच छह बार डोंट गो कि किसी ने ये बता दी तो वो उठा लिया डोंट डू दैट फर्स्ट वन थिंग दिस सेकेंड इज दैट फोकस ऑन एनसीआर बिकॉज एनसीआर टीज आर द बेस यूपीएससी प्रिलिम्स में भी वी हैव क्वेश्चन जो डायरेक्टली एनसीआर टी से आ जाते हैं एंड इवन ड्यूरिंग द मेन्स देर कैन बी क्वेश्चन जी एस वन टू में भी तो एनसीआर टीज आर अ मेजर की सोर्स एंड आई एंड डोंट बी डिस बिकॉज द जर्नी इज वेरी इट मे बी इट मे बी लॉन्ग फॉर सम इट मे बी शॉर्ट फॉर सम Hmm. and uh, i think that uh, don't be disheartened with the failure and just keep on striving for it but also maintain a backup just in case did you maintain a backup uh, yes sir i am uh, pursuing my masters in english literature hmm. so that was a, a backup in my case theek hai aur uh, shivika beta how do you remember so much information सर अगेन याद रखना पड़ता है जी इन दिस केस आई फील दैट एक बारी पढ़ के तो नहीं होता है रिटेन इन माय केस मुझे तो नहीं होता था इट वाज ऑल अबाउट रिवाइजिंग इट ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन लाइक व्हाट आई डिड आई व्हाट एवर आई रेड इन अ डे आई यूज्ड टू रिवाइज इट द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग एंड सो दैट वो बेटर रिटेन रहता था एंड अगेन आफ्टर अ वीक और सो व्हेनेवर आई फेल्ट आई यूज्ड टू रिवाइज इट ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन and hmm. usi wajah se hi uh, retain rehta tha so multiple revisions and nothing else one can do really hmm? and ji and sath mein test if you are solving test so jo hum galti karte hai we ensure that we do not repeat that again so wo or better retain ho jata tha test ke baad hmm. and ji theek hai isme batao ki uh, at any point of your preparation did you feel like uh, quitting um especially after my first attempt and when i could not uh, reach the i could not clear my interview stage hmm. i was extremely disheartened at that point and i felt that and i think this was my only shot and i ruined it hmm. and uh, i was extremely uh, disheartened and i but again i felt uh, there were people around me i talked to you also regarding this and uh, everyone around me they motivated me that no give it a try because you have reached here and you and this is a point of no return you should uh, give it again so i yes. felt that a supportive environment in that case helped me uh, to get yes. back up and uh, prepared for it again yes aap to bahuton se zyada bahut blessed ho is mamle mein frankly haan ji definitely yes. sir yes sir okay. uh ek cheez ye batao ki uh, आपने इतने साल जो पढ़ाई की है व्हाट हैज बीन द मेन ड्राइविंग फोर्स आई वो बोरिंग भी हो जाता है हां जी हम्म हां जी नहीं आई प्रेप इट इट गेट्स बोरिंग डेफिनेटली बट अल्टीमेटली आई मीन वो कंसिस्टेंसी के केस में एक बोरडम आ जाता है एंड यू हैव टू डील विद इट एंड आई नो आई नो व्हाट आई एम गेटिंग इनटू बट ultimately after a point i enjoyed my routine and uh, i knew i had a goal in my mind that i have to clear this examination and mm. uh, that was that was very fixed that i want uh, i want to do something uh, for my mm. country and uh, i want to do that in any way and uh, mm. and if upsc was a major source for that and i felt and that helped me uh, drive forward that helped me go on ठीक है ग्रेट और इसमें ये बताओ बेटा कि परिवार का कितना रोल रहा है um, sir, I think extremely supportive रहे हैं मेरे पेरेंट्स इन दिस केस एंड किसी भी किसी भी एंड पर उन्होंने मुझे ऐसा नहीं फील करवाया कि नो यू शुड नॉट बी डूइंग दिस या कुछ और कर लो दे हैव बीन एक्सट्रीमली सपोर्टिव दे हैव बीन अ मेजर मोटिवेशन फॉर मी थ्रू आउट दीज थ्री फोर ईयर्स एंड आई कुड नॉट हैव डन इट If they had not supported me so unconditionally. बिल्कुल. Mm-hmm. मैं जब आपके पिताजी से मिला, my sense was कि मतलब you know he's like that. Silently he's offering his continuous support to you. Ah, definitely. Some को है back of the mind कि चलो आप भी support of my parents. Yes, sir. बिल्कुल. और वही चाहिए होता है इंसान को, है ना? हाँ जी. Because academically वगैरह शायद परिवार वाले हर केस में इतना नहीं कर सकते. हाँ जी. ठीक है 